Hey guys, it's Nerd Nick, and today we're going to be looking at whether or not having a higher milliamp battery or a higher C battery is going to give you more power. Now in a previous video, we looked at whether or not a higher C battery would really give you more performance. So I took two 1000 milliamp 3S batteries, one rated at 35C and one rated at 65C, and we put them head to head. I don't want to spoil anything, but some people who watched the video were very surprised by the results. So go ahead and check it out. Now in response to that previous video, you guys had a lot of good questions. One of them was, what if you had a similar battery that was higher milliamp but lower C than the higher C battery? So what I have here is I have the same 1000 milliamp 3S uh, rated at 65C that we used in the previous video, and now I have a 1300 milliamp 3S rated at 40C. Now when you compare these two batteries, the size is very similar. The 1300 is a little bigger and weighs a few more grams. The 65C battery should be able to supply up to 65 amps, and then the 1300 milliamp only 52. Now we know the C numbers are definitely inflated, so we're not going to be pulling anywhere close to those numbers, but even on paper, the 65C battery should still come out ahead. So the way we're going to test this is we have a watt meter that's going to tell us how many watts and amps um, the motor is pulling. And then I've got a little battery voltage meter that's going to tell us each cell, how much it's sagging under load. And then uh, I have a RPM sensor on my radio that will show just how fast the prop is spinning. Now RPM is important because I'm not going to be testing this on a plane. We're going to be doing this here on the bench. Now RPM tells us how many revolutions per minute this motor is going to take with this prop. Now, Knowing how fast it's spinning with the different batteries is going to tell us how fast that translates to in the air. And if one battery gives you a faster spinning motor than the other, then you know you're getting more power, which translates to more speed, more thrust, more responsiveness. So let's go ahead and run each of these up and take a look at the results. So now looking at the numbers, I'm actually really surprised at how well the 65C battery held up. We all know that C numbers are inflated, but it really held its own. When you consider that this battery has 300 more milliamp, and at 1,000 milliamp size, that's a huge increase, right, to add 300 milliamps. It, it didn't perform as well as the smaller battery. So what's surprising to me about these results is that if you increase your C, really all you're doing is changing the multiplier against the base milliamp value that gives you your total output for the battery. If you increase the actual base milliamp number, um, you, you should be, or at least I thought, you should be giving yourself more of an advantage in the long run because you're not just changing the multiplier. Now when we look closely at the numbers, watts were pretty close, um, but what I did notice is that the, the 1300 started to drop off. Um, I, I averaged it out for the RPMs, but ultimately they were, they were rapidly falling and the 65C was still pretty solid uh, in its range. So even though the numbers came up pretty close, the 1300 definitely didn't have the same um, pep that you, that you would see in the 65C. Now the benefit here, even though your performance was slightly lower, you are getting additional runtime. The additional milliamp is going to give you uh, maybe a minute or two additional flight time, so that's a benefit in itself. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please keep the questions coming. I'd love to make more of these for you. Let me know what you'd like to see. And until then, we'll see you next time.